welcome to this special work in progress. This time is going to be a little different from the usual. I recently received my Sailor Moon Compact Gash Pond, but I was extremely disappointed with them because they were not detailed on the inside, so I decided to take it into my own hands and customize them myself. Since I didn't find any safe way to disassemble the compacts without damaging or breaking them, I decided to just mask them like any other GK I've worked on in the past. After all of them were masked, I went ahead and primed them with white primer so that the paint can adhere to the plastic and not run off. All primed and ready. The next step was to paint them white. It took several layers to cover all that yellow though. After all of them were painted, I went ahead and sealed them with a glossy finish. Then I had to play the waiting game and continue the next day to let the paint cure. Since it was heavily detailed on the inside, I just decided to hand paint them. Masking them would have taken me days, so I relied on my steady hand at this point. I started by painting silver. Why silver, many of you might ask? Well, I'll be adding some clear paints later on top, and that will maintain the metallic look, which you will see in a little bit. Since I don't want to use yellow, I just use gold on the other little parts that show this color on the original design. Ready to add my clear colors. I decided to use Golden's new high flow transparent colors since I haven't been able to test them, so this was a good opportunity to do it. I like the effect so far. I'm done with the Crisis Heart Compact, and as you can see, I did the same thing with Chibiusa's Compact as well. I did the same operation on the Cosmic Heart Compact, just painted it silver with gold and then added some more transparent colors. star was easy to paint as it was only gold that I needed to use. Since I had never had the transformation brooch before, I never knew that it had a nail polish design inside, so I'm gonna just do something a little bit different for this one. I'm going to use some clear epoxy resin to cover the inside, but added some magic powder. Magic because you will see what it does in a bit. I mixed in the powder and added it carefully to the design, making sure I didn't spill from the side.
And here's where you see the magic. It glows in the dark! Since these compacts don't have any space to add anything in the inside to make for the crystal, I just bought a holomatic sticker sheet from duct tape. I made sure to just cut the exact size of the crystals for each compact. The Cosmic and Crisis Compact's crystals is kind of pink, so I just added a thick layer of gloss varnish with a tiny drop of the transparent paint I was using earlier to keep the effect of the sticker below. I hope you enjoyed my video on how I customize my Gash Bond set. I encourage all of you to do it, especially to those who, like me, don't think we'll ever get the original ones from the 90s. It's kind of like a really cool consolation prize. If you liked my video, check out my other videos on custom Sailor Moon resin figures. Click on any of the links here and subscribe! Come on, I'm waiting! It's okay, take your time. Hey, you're missing out on cool stuff! What are you waiting for? Come on!